So today I'm going to uh, go through how I use um, a hand router. Uh, I'm going to cut in a frame uh, for a project that I'm doing. You'll probably see it in a few weeks. Um, but I suppose I just want to go through how, how you would use a cutout, why you would use the, the router. Generally, it will be my last choice to, to form a cutout because I'll use a jigsaw or I'll use a saw or, or I'll do anything rather than use it. But if you need a really, really straight edge and a really nice finish um, on, on an edge, then, then the router's the way to do it. So what I have got is, uh, which I won't be using today, is a, is a fine depth adjustment, which will enable me to use a depth gauge and then alter, set the depth. So I'll do that and then I'll turn this wheel up here and I'll move the, I'll move the, um, the cutter up and down. So you don't need this, but it just, the reason I use it is because when it's set, it's set and there's no slipping. But today we won't be using it, so we're going to be taking it off. We're going to be using a stop. So let's just take this off. Right, so there you go. So as you can see now, the router is free to move. So on the other side, there's a there's a, uh, a little catch that will stop it. That's the, to set the plunge. But anyway. Right. Okay. Right, I'm going to change a bit on this. So let's change a bit. I've got, I, need a, I need a couple of spanners, so a large one to hold it, a small one to hold it still, and a slightly larger one to, to undo the, the collet. Do that, there we go. Do all of this while it's unplugged, by the way. There we go, take that one out. Put this one in. And then just get it so it sits at the bottom, just a little bit off the bottom. Pretty tight, not too tight, but pretty tight. Right, so what you want to do is undo the undo the plunge, set it to the depth you want the first cut. Now with a router, um, especially a small router like this, and you, you don't want to take massive or really deep passes because you'll you won't get a good edge or you'll burn the router out or it'll just it just won't work very well. So take sort of about seven or eight mil passes or something like that, maybe maybe ten mil passes. So set it to roughly seven mil. And you can do that with a gauge or or by eye. It's up to you really. I'm gonna do it by gauge. So that is so you get a gauge on, put that on there, a bit deep. There we go. That's set seven mil. And tie off the, the sort of tie off the plunge. Right, so that is now set to seven mil. Now, this little funny this funny little hat here is the is the guide or is the stop depth stop. So what you can do is set your depth stop to the first, to the first one there. And now what you can do is you can take take the, the plunge off. It will go like that, but it will stop at seven mil. So you set your first set, and then when you've done your first pass, move the hat round one, and then that will drop it down to your next depth, so 14 mil, and then do the third pass, and that will drop it down to to well, it will drop it down to its full depth. Now for me, that's 25 mil, and this is this is now deeper than 25 mil, so I know that I can take take those amount of passes. Now the router is set up for what you want. So the next thing we can do is we're going to mark out what we want to cut out. So it's as simple as just drawing a line. This blade is offset from this curved edge here. Uh, on this on this bit, it is 77 mil. So that means I have to I have to put some timber or offset something 77 mil on there, and then I'll be able to run this all the way around. So let's. Do that. Thank you. 
And again, these have got to be pretty tight and pretty solid because if not, it'll slip and that'll screw everything up on it. See, this is, this is one of the reasons I'll avoid using it because it just takes so long to set up. You can get jigs and everything like that, um, but because I don't do it very often, it's not worth the money. Maybe if I was, maybe if it was my, no, if it was my full time job, I'd get a jig. Right, so we have now got the, the whole area trimmed off or, or we've got it, got the guide on so it's a bit rough but it's still a guide and what you want to do now is just check before you do any cutting just check your right so undo the undo the thing in the jig get the router bit so it's just just level with the timber and then just check that you can get your cutter in Ah, uh, so what I've done there is I've set it up wrongly, and that is a that's a that is a that's a big deal. So I've gone so if, so what you can see, I've set it up to the wrong side of the line. So you see that I'm set to the to the to the wrong side. So what I need to do is move everything inboard uh, ten mil. too bad slight mistake but I'm putting a rebate in it so I'll never see that mistake right as you can see it's a little bit awkward to set up um, doing things by rat by a router but if you've got good reason then it's it's definitely worthwhile because you'll get a fantastic finish on on the edge uh, especially in awkward to get two places uh, if you've liked the video then please like and subscribe i really appreciate it and if you've got any questions or you think i've missed anything let me know right thanks very much have a great day see you later goodbye